Bitcoin didn't appear out of nowhere. It was the culmination of 40 years of revolutionary ideas and research in cryptography, computer science, and digital payments. Get the free ebook in the description for more. The journey began in 1974 when Surf and Khan created TCP IP, the communication protocol that powers the internet. By 1976, Whitfield Diffie and Martin Hellman introduced public key cryptography, allowing secure communication between people who've never met. The 1980s saw David Chom proposing blind signatures for untraceable payments, laying groundwork for private digital transactions. By the late 80s, the cypherpunk movement emerged, technology activists advocating for privacy through cryptography. In 1997, Adam Back created Hashcash, introducing the proof-of-work concept that would become crucial to Bitcoin's design. That same year, Nick Azabo published papers on smart contracts and proposed BitGold, a precursor to Bitcoin that solved many theoretical problems. By 1998, Wei Dai published a proposal called B-Money, describing a decentralized database to record transactions using proof-of-work. And in 2004, computer scientist Hal Finney created reusable proof-of-work. All these innovations form the building blocks Satoshi Nakamoto would assemble in 2008 to create Bitcoin, the first successful decentralized digital currency. As Nakamoto wrote, a lot of people automatically dismiss e-currency as a lost cause because of all the companies that failed since the 1990s. I think this is the first time we're trying a decentralized, non-trust-based system. 